go to Frank Freeman, our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout, 10 rounds, super welterweight division. And the officials, our timekeeper, Sam Goralnik, counting for the knockdowns, Dr. Billy Yoham, judging. Stu Winston, Al Walensky, the referee, Bernie Soto, and the principals. From Miami, Florida, he's wearing the blue trunks with the white trim at 154 and three quarter pounds, Jeff Nelson. Nelson. And his opponent from the Virgin Islands, he's also wearing the blue trunks and white trim. He weighs 153 pounds, Julian Jackson. Jackson, 10 rounds. Okay, boys, you both know the rules. I'm here to enforce it. And if they don't drop down, the ones going up now go to another corner until I call you in. I want a clean fight. Shake hands and good luck to both of you. Bernie Soto, our referee, with the instructions. There is Julian Jackson backing up. He is from St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands, and he is undefeated. 14 victories and 12 knockouts. On the other side of the ring from him, from Miami, Florida, with a record of 13 and 3, is Jeff Nelson. There is Jeff. Naturally, this is the hometown for him. It's 10 rounds. This is round one. Both gentlemen are wearing blue trunks. The way to tell, Julian Jackson is much the taller, and right now he's on the right. And the thinner stripes, and the darker blue. Hello. This is a big ring, and this should be uppermost uh, in our minds throughout the evening. This is a 24-foot ring, and for these two fighters, they like it because they're both boxers. They like to move around the ring and use all of it. Good right, and an uppercut, and Jackson comes back with a glancing right. But I'll tell you, Jeff Nelson is headhunting. Well, Jeff Nelson knows he's in against uh, maybe the best fighter he's ever fought. I guess he fought John Mugabe his last time out, lost on TKO and cuts, and you can make the case that Mugabe is better than Jackson, but there's a good left hand by Nelson. My point is that Nelson is not awed or afraid to come in and mix it up. Jackson, being out of St. Thomas, said you can't get fights in St. Thomas, that small but beautiful island. He said you got to use his words, go abroad. He gets a good right there thrown by Nelson, and he's in with a tough one tonight. And now he lands a left of his own, and now a right that stuns Nelson. Good right to the head, down a left, and another right by Jackson. Great hand speed by Jackson, and we are seeing that in evidence already here in the first round. They've scheduled this for 10 rounds. <laughs> Another right and a tough left by Jackson. Julian Jackson has landed some right hands that I'm sure are as good as he can possibly land. And while Nelson has been stunned, uh, it's a tribute to him. He hasn't gone down. by Jackson, he's missed. Oh, that right after the left, and then the right uppercut, another right to the head. By Jackson, and Nelson fights back, and lands a couple of his own. I'm sure Jackson saw the Mugabe fight, tapes of it where Mugabe was able to land his powerful right a number of times to the head of Nelson, and that's what Jackson's doing. The uppercut by Jackson. Jackson started slowly, has come on strong. Nelson in a little bit of trouble. Jeff Nelson started strong, but as Jackson was finishing strong, round one, schedule ten. And able to land the right hand often during the first round. That one got to the head of Jeff Nelson. Live from Miami, this is round two. That is Jackson on your right, Nelson on the left. Good right thrown by Jackson. Jackson told me today that he really anticipated the first round to be a feeling out round. He said, I'm just going to box him and see what he has. But <laughs> Nelson, 
changed that strategy by being so aggressive, and he paid for it. Another good right by Jackson. Oh, they traded good right hand. Tell you one thing, oh, Jeff Nelson of Miami is willing to mix it up. He has been in with a couple of good junior middleweights. Uh, also, in addition to Mugabe, he beat Elisha Obed, who was a very fine junior middleweight. So he's been in with some good people. A right-hand lead by Jackson. Right now, though, he's having a hard time staving off the lead right by Jackson. His left hand very low, as you see, and he's an inviting target. from an island that has produced a world champion, and that is Emil Griffith. And he said, Emil paved the road for the rest of us, and I'm just trying to follow it. Round two, half over. <laughs> Beautiful as that island of St. Thomas is, you wonder why anybody want to hurt each other growing up there. <laughs> well, he says that uh, he loves it and will, uh, will never leave. That's what Julian Jackson says. Jackson has scored well in this the second round. Nelson started the first round, but Jackson finished it. Boy, he has scored a lot of right hand leads. You're right, Al. He saw something. The hand speed of Julian Jackson, uh, which has been impressive to date in uh, getting an undefeated record, uh, we're seeing it very much in evidence in this fight. These are super welterweights. Under 155. Nelson 154 and three quarters. Jackson 153. We should explain that super welterweight and junior middleweight are the same thing. It's just that the WBC calls them super welterweights. That high it looked as though it staggered Jackson. But that left did. And there's a right and a left. and then the tough left. That's it. End of round two. And Nelson goes back to his corner. It's ironic that it was the left hook to put Nelson down after he'd eaten so many right hands. Jeff Nelson out of Miami. And let's see that knockdown again. Well, I mentioned it was the left hook and he had been so conscious of the right by Jackson that in this case, Julian showed him a weapon he hadn't shown him before. Beautiful left hook. <laughs> Jackson does a little histrionics after the knockdown. I think he thinks he had it. We're in Miami. We're trying to listen in on the corner of Jeff Nelson, but therefore, uh, thus far, cannot hear what his handlers, Porter Roll and Dwayne Davis, are saying to him. I can say one thing to him, and Julian Jackson, he's meeting a man who is for real, even though he's only fought 14 times, and had little amateur experience, because the amateur program in St. Thomas is not that big. It's, no. it's there, but it's not a good, tough situation to learn in. Round three, that is Jackson on your left. There may be some doubt about how well Jeff Nelson trained for this fight. Uh, he had to lose. He came in at 157 today, two pounds over the limit. They let him lose just once and waived that extra pound. But uh, his people were a little concerned that maybe he had not trained properly for this fight. Round three, scheduled 10 rounds. There's been one knockdown. That was by Nelson in round two. I should say that it was Nelson that went down. Takes another good right and a left high on the head. Oh, another good tough left by Jackson. Jackson is rated sixth by the WBA, and you can see why. He is clearly a world-class fighter. Right and then gave a left back to Nelson. Another right to the head.
out of Nelson. Needs will go out again. Has him in deep trouble. What was that all about? I don't know. Bernie Soto stepped in. No count, no nothing. I don't understand that at all. <laughs> they were not in the clinch. Halfway through the third round. Julian Jackson, cleanup time for him now. And I would think Jeff Nelson's going to have to do something offensively to get him backwards. A right cross, a right uppercut by Jackson, almost scoring at will. Another right uppercut. Nelson showing little defense and no offense at the moment. And looks very tired as well as having been hurt. He's having a hard time keeping his hands up. Minutes to go in round three. Nelson, as he weathered the storm, another right hand lead. And then a left staggers. Nelson all right on his feet. Out on his feet. That's all. That's all. They stop it in the third. And uh, I believe it was appropriate, certainly, for the referee to step in at that point. Jeff Nelson, as you mentioned, was literally out on his feet. He was really dazed. And it was an interesting. I think to see Julian Jackson do most of his damage in the third round with the left hook. And that, of course, was the punch that knocked him down in the second. But previous to that, there had been uh, mostly right hands. Happy Julian, Julian Jackson, Jackson. now 15 and 0, and you made a statement out. You said clearly a world class fighter. Well, I think that this performance demonstrates that Nelson is not the greatest junior middleweight in the world, but he's far from the worst. And we will see. Jackson with that left hook that really hurt Jeff Nelson. And at this point, he was in all kinds of trouble, just unable to defend himself. Look at Jackson. He doesn't even want a punch. And the referee uh, appropriately steps in. Now let's go back again to Frank Freeman. The time, two minutes, 31 seconds of the third round. Referee stops the bout. Winner by a TKO, Julian Jackson. Jackson. So Julian Jackson of St. Thomas and the Virgin Islands has come to the mainland and has recorded his 15th win, his 13th knockout of his young career. But he's a comer. 